Ah, the Millennium Falcon cockpit from Hot Toys. Deja vu. I feel like I've seen this before. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Denobu2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another video. Another video from Comic Con, and we're uh, we're going to be looking at some of the Hot Toys uh, based off of Star Wars here. And uh, let's start off with the uh, with the uh, cockpit. Uh, we are sold on this. Um, enough is enough, Hot Toys. Quit teasing us on this. Either you're going to uh, release this or not. I think there's enough buzz and um, energy in the community that I think this would sell. I mean, it'll cater to the classic uh, characters and it'll cater to the uh, new uh, films. So enough is enough. That's cool. The characters look great. We're sold on it. We love it. We love dioramas. So um, just please just put this on pre-order. You know, I don't want to show up next year at Comic-Con and see this on display with the uh, episode eight characters. So, okay. <laughs> um, so just, yeah, just go ahead and just please just put this on pre-order where we, we love it. We're sold on it. It, it looks great. And uh, enough of the showstoppers like the TIE Fighter. We know you're not, we know you're never going to release a 1-6 scale TIE Fighter. We know it's just for showing off. We know what you can do. Um, so I, I just think it's unnecessary. We, we saw last year it was a TIE Fighter and then this year they removed the wings and they put in the, uh, the TIE Interceptor wings. So that's fine. It's hot toys flexing their muscles. Um, I, I don't think there's a demand for this in the community. And uh, I, I just don't see the, uh, the whole point of uh, creating prototypes like this if you're not gonna judge us in a survey. You know, it's just pretty much for, hey, look, we're Hot Toys and this is what we can do. That's fine. We know that you're a good company, so stop it. <laughs> stop doing these little showstoppers like, like the TIE Fighters and the TIE Interceptors. Uh, the speeder bike is shown at this year's Comic-Con and it looks good. I mean, it, it's okay. I, uh, I, I don't see why you would want it, though. I mean, it's probably going to have a $300 price tag or it's going to be around there somewhere. And uh, it just didn't play a, a very significant part in the film. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm being distracted by the uh, the joints on her knees. I, I, I can't get over that. I can't get over that they can make a one six scale tie interceptor and tie and, you know tie fighter, but yet they can't solve the uh, uh, articulation on, on on the joints there, the exposed rough you know knee joints. <laughs> uh, you know the same old. They got uh, power droids and more stormtroopers. We need more stormtroopers that are going to be released, and uh, I will say the uh, the Death Star pilot there with the uh, with the desk behind him or the uh, the, the console was pretty cool. Uh, another Darth Vader and the uh, one fourth scale Kylo Ren uh, was was a showstopper this year. Um, a lot of talk about him. He looks impressive. He looks pretty damn ass cool. Right down to the uh, Darth Vader burnt helmet that uh, he comes with. Uh, that was pretty cool too. So good looking figure, really, really nice, good looking figure. Uh, and the uh, uh, and the detail in the burnt helmet is pretty cool. Uh, what really attracted me in Star Wars Hot Toys this year was definitely C-3PO and R2-D2. I'm gonna tell you right now, I spent a, a few minutes on here and looking at this R2 and uh, how he's more just technically and He's just more superior than the Sideshow version by hands down. I mean, you get a diecast dome, he has all the lights, he has sound effects. The Sideshow R2-D2 doesn't have sound effects. Uh, Hot Toys is like, well, you know what, we can do it better. And it's time to sell the uh, Sideshow uh, R2-D2 because when this guy is released, there's no real reason to have him around. This is a great looking R2-D2. Plus, it's a diecast dome. How can you go wrong with that? C-3PO looks phenomenal too, and I gotta tell you something. They have some real stiff competition because my C-3PO, the one that I bought from Tamashi Nations, is by hands down the best C-3PO one six figure I've ever owned in my life. But uh, I always feel that, they, they, that they're able to tackle it. Um, I really wanted to zoom in on him because he looks diecast, but there's no pamphlet or anything signifying that he is diecast. I can't imagine you making C-3PO not in diecast. It, it just, it, to me, it would be it would fit. It would be more natural to have a partially die-cast R2-D2 with a partially die-cast C-3PO. To me, it would just make sense. It, it really would. I mean, look at that weathering. 
I mean, that just looks really good. Wow. Plus, it's lights and sound. I mean, SciShow didn't even attempt to put sound. What else uh, was really interesting was the, uh, the Luke Skywalker. Uh, he gets his own figure, I mean, for not even talking and for a quick, you know, minute cameo, he gets his own gets his own figure. I don't know why you would want to own this when you know very well he's going to have a bigger role in Episode Eight, and that's the one that you're really going to want to add to your collection. These figures are expensive. I just don't see why you would want to get this when you know you're going to want the Episode Eight. Ray looks beautiful as ever. Great, stunning figure. I mean, I can't say anything bad about her. I mean, you get BB-8, you get her. It just really looks good. What else I saw in the show that uh, impressed me too was the, uh, the the Chewbacca and Han Solo. It, it you know from the Force Awakens. I'm gonna say it. This is by far one of the best Han Solos I've seen. This is, I mean, that is that is that is Harrison Ford right there in one six scale. That is just incredible. And see it in person, I'm like, wow, this is just awesome. Get me the Falcon cockpit, and I'll get Chewbacca and Han Solo. I'll do it. I, I'll I'll go back into Star Wars. Right now, I'm not collecting anything, but the cockpit and these two, yes, I'll do it. I'll go back into it. <laughs> that's uh, that's it for uh, for Star Wars at this year's uh, Comic Con. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are excited. You're not. L let me know. Like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.